My name is Richard Casper. I'm a Marine Corps veteran, and I teach the course here at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. This program started basically because after my injuries in war, I didn't know how to deal with myself. I came back, had a brain injury, my best friend was shot and killed. I didn't know myself at that point. Art has helped me by giving me a chance to have a voice again. I used to not be able to leave my house. I couldn't go talk to people. I would physically throw up and get sick. If you could be 0% that's committing suicide, 100% being the best you can be. After the Marine Corps, after being injured, I was at probably like a nine or a 10. And after the school, I was back to like 85% me. For people who may struggle like I did and didn't want to break out of the house and be like, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I just want them to know my story and be able to come out here and learn with other combat vets how to do art and if they're looking for one more way, if they just come out here and give me a chance, it's gonna be worth it. What we were aiming for is to express what we were dealing with, you know, when we were deployed and during our military career, where we literally get out of our element, go on this kind of like alternate reality to go back in time, think about what we went through and express it to other people. Just being exposed to different concepts of art like at the museum and some of the contemporary art we saw um, that's what influenced me to try doing a performance piece for my last project. The opportunity to be at the school was just phenomenal. It was amazing. We could at lunch we could go and wander the halls of the museums and that was that was pretty awesome. I think the hardest part was actually talking about what I've been through with it was easy talking to Richard because he is a combat veteran and he has been through stuff I've been through. And My job was to you know, go find IEDs or find landmines or anti-personnel landmines and take them apart. And little did I know, I was putting that stuff inside me. At first it's a little hard to let yourself become vulnerable. Um, you won't really know what to do right away. It takes a couple days. I know for me it took a week. Being surrounded by a bunch of veterans that like know what combat feels like, knows the after effects of combat, knows how it feels to come home. It was really comfortable being here. They're gonna come to class like normal college students, treated like normal people, that know how to be like, I can be in college, I am a normal person, and I could live like everybody else lives. If even one of them chose to go to college and study art and has that artist brain to where it saved them, it's totally worth it. All right, here we are, we're live, check it out, let me, get, let me make sure everything's up, I think we're good to go, pulling up the chat now, what's going on, I got some people on Twitch and Facebook, let's get to it, I don't know why my mixer isn't working, I'm going to disconnect it and try it again. time. Um, I have a makeshift overhead camera set up, but it's like not focusing on my stuff, but we'll deal with it for today. Uh, I won't be drawing for long. I'll be doing some Photoshop and we got some people on YouTube. What's going on YouTube? All right. Um, this is uh, this is what I was working on, working on a graphic novel. Check out these little pages before I get started today. Um, I'm going to show you how to take um, some ink drawings or any types of drawings that you do and convert them uh, via Photoshop and then you can, can edit them. Oh, sweet, I'm up on Mixer, here we go. Let me make sure. Yeah, 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 we're good now. All right, let's get to it. So I'm gonna do a, a drawing and then we'll, I'll show you, uh, so I'll do an ink drawing and then I'll show you how to, the apps that I use to scan it um, if you don't have access to a fancy scanner, um, I don't right now, so I will show you what I've been doing with my phone to do it. Um, I think audio is good. Tell me if I'm wrong. If this is your first stream with us with Creative Vets, my name is Garrett Leo. I am the art director for Creative Vets. Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna show you how to, to edit some pictures today, edit some art. Got a new setup, check that out. Shout out to Zachary for figuring out, out our uh, OBS stuff, our streaming stuff. So we got a little banner. Let's do a little walk through the banner before I start uh, art making today. We have a little scroll at the bottom you can see. If you, uh, if you were jumping in, you can find us on Instagram or Facebook. John says we're, co we're coming in good, sweet. Uh, you can find our website info, um, Twitter, all of our Instagram social media handles uh, are on the bottom little thing. So if you want to find us, if this is your first time seeing us, just check that out and you can find us. As well as mine. Mine's on there too, Man Glaze Black. Um, so I've got a couple. This is going to get fancy today, real fast. I have a couple different camera views. So I've got the main one, which is this, so you can see my overhead drawing. Um, and then I can do, when we do the Photoshop, look at that. I'm going to show you my desktop, and I can even put my face in there so you can see the desktop and my face. Isn't that cool? Zachary set this up. Shout out to him again. All right, so uh, let's do just let's do a drawing. Uh, while I'm drawing, uh, if you're watching, if you're on Facebook, start a watch party. You know, you know the routine. Start a watch party. Um, I'm just going to do a little portrait. I have my windows open. So uh, if you hear a lot of noises, it's just the windows. But I, I live on 18th Street in Chicago, so it's pretty, pretty noisy over here. But I don't want to close them because it's nice out. Sweet, people are jumping on. Um, so I'm just, just materials I'm using today in case you're doing this with me. I'm using Bristol paper again, right? This is my ink paper. Um, same stuff that I've been using for my graphic novel, right? Just a little thicker. Um, it can hold the ink a little bit better. I'm sketching with a, oh, there's the camera, a non-photo blue pencil. So this, I'll actually show you how to work with this today. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan a black and white image. I'll kind of talk about um, if you need to scan other color, if you want to do colors and stuff, and I'll change the settings in Photoshop. Um, but when I do this drawing, my hands are filthy, side note. They're covered in ink, so if you see smudges, it's just, it's just going to happen. Um, I'm going to show you how to draw something with photo blue pencil and then ink it and then take it to Photoshop and then it'll be good. So it's like a two-parter. So if you're really interested in just the Photoshop stuff, uh, that's going to happen in like a half an hour, um, right? I need to draw this, ink it, and then, uh, then I'll be talking about my phone and scanning and stuff. Okay. Coolio, coolio. Just do a little, little practice portrait for the day. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen all the weird, wacky drawings I've been doing. I drew, uh, for this past Mother's Day, I drew my grandmother, Elvis, and I drew my mother, uh, Nosferatu. Right? My phone's beeping over here. Let's see. Or is Richard texting me? I don't know. I've been having troubles getting the mixer to connect, but it's connected now. We got quite a few people on Mixer. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a little sketch. What have people been? Uh, what have people been making? In the uh, quarantine. Now, I was drawing a general face, a general, just, you know, generic face, but uh, it's turning into one of my characters from the comic book, which is cool. I could do a little promotion here. I'll show you because you can kind of see it. Um, right? Pretty exaggerated. Got the tall hair. Just doing a light sketch. Um, what kind of mouth does he have? We'll do... Don't like that. Making his cheekbones a little bit bigger. 
the character Freddy that I'm kind of drawn is uh, he's got really big cheekbones. And he has a abnormally long face. So I'm drawing that. Okay, just drawing a just drawing a portrait. Some people just jumped on. I will be doing some Photoshop editing today. So stay tuned. Once I'm done here, I'm gonna ink it and then uh, scan it. And again, I'll talk about um, how to use like really fancy scanners. But with what I'm doing today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it with apps that you can get for free, for the free, on your phone. We'll play around with a little color today too, why not? Now some parts I'm drawing darker just so I can kind of see the face better, um, but you don't need to draw uh, the face super dark with this pencil because you're going to be inking it, it's going to go away anyways. Okay, that looks pretty good. Thank you for the the sparks. I see him right there. Sapper Arts. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna use, um, so I use the non-photo blue pencil for the sketch. Again, sorry if this is a little blurry. I'm still trying to figure out the perfect um, spot for my camera. This is my webcam right here. You should see the setup. I wish I could show you. Uh, oh, I can kinda. It's just, I used a, uh, a telescope uh, stand, bipod, tripod, and taped a bunch of rulers and paintbrushes together to make this little overhead hang. Uh, waiting for my my professional camera setup to arrive in the mail. Just ordered that today. All right, so um, before I get ink all over my face, which I'm notorious for doing, I'm gonna, there it is, put on a hair tie real quick. I uh, got up early this morning and started inking and then I got ink all over my face and then I took a shower and then jumped, started working again and then I got ink all over my face again. So we'll see how long this lasts. Um, so I'm using, now I'm gonna use some Micron pens. Now because it's a big drawing, I'm gonna use the, uh, the graphic, where is it at? The graphic and the 08 size to start. And that'll be just to uh, get the outlines in, and then I can add little details with uh, the smaller pens. 
And I just got a new set of microns in the mail. I ordered it off Amazon. Um, but I got the like random like 15 pack one. So that was super cool. Little trick, draw the, the letter G for the inside of your ears if you're drawing cartoons. And then when you're drawing, uh, if you are also drawing a portrait, it's really important the way your eyebrows are. Um, I'm not drawing eyebrows exactly, I'm just drawing like skin brows because I don't draw the hair for the comics. Um, but it could totally change the, um, the facial features and like what emotion your character is showing. So you just wanna, you know, be mindful, practice it. Do a couple tests. And I've been uh, working on a graphic novel and I've been switching between drawing eyes and then just drawing dots. So I'm gonna actually draw eyes for this one, this doodle. And again, I'm not too worried about uh, this being a masterpiece. Because um, the bit, the fun stuff is when you do the Photoshop stuff. That's what, that's the important stuff for today. Uh, if you're look, if you're watching right now, um, let me check this text message. If you're watching right now, um, yeah. And you've seen our old streams. Let me know what you think about the new setup, the new uh, the little banner, the logo, everything. What do you What do you think? Zach worked super super hard on this, uh, and I think it's fantastic. I think it takes it to the next level. Uh, but what I'm just curious what people's thoughts are. Doing the wrinkly forehead. It's a quiet day. I had some music jamming. Again, I can't have my music on while I'm streaming because we'll get blocked. Get blocked. Can't have that. Super excited. Um, I'm gonna do some. I, I've been making some some time lapse. Run on Facebook says you can't see my setup. Can you see the banner at the bottom? I'm gonna check because you just said that. I want to make sure that it's it's coming through. Uh, let's see. Well, you should be able to see. I'm talking about the little banner at the bottom where the little scrolls going through, and then uh, the little thing around my name, around my my little my little picture, right there. I'm pointing. Hold on. Right there. Boom. Thank you, Mrs. OEF, for auto-hosting. Appreciate it. Um, Zachary said, looks great. Zachary did a great job. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's one of those very talented people that can just um, decide he wants to learn something overnight, and then he learns it. Very cool. He walked me through setting this up this morning. And now it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit fresher. Oh, what I was saying, I'm really excited. I'm, I've been doing some time-lapse videos of me drawing portraits. Um, if any of you are not familiar with my portrait, I can't show you. But my wall is covered with portraits up there. Um, 
part of that part of this new series of work I'm doing. Um, but I've been doing some time lapse videos of me drawing them and inking them, and I asked one of my best friends to do a collaboration with me because he's a musician. I asked if he could make some soundtracks for my videos, like little tiny, like thirty second jams. Super excited to to post some videos with that. So if you don't uh, follow me already and you want to see some cool uh, music inspired by like Tarantino films, and uh, I t I, g I gave him the description of I want the sound of if Johnny Cash played the Monsters theme. That's the type of music that I want in my my videos. So if you're curious about that, follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting those. Soon, he's mixing up, he's sound mixing it today, I think. He's going to send it to me. Super exciting, super exciting. And again, uh, if you're just joining in and you're like, why isn't this guy on Photoshop yet? I'll be there in a second. Um, I wanted to do a drawing from start to finish so that there's no hidden uh, things that happen. It's all just right there in front of you. So starting with an ink drawing, again, just using um, Bristol paper. And I am using Micron pens right now. It's like a permanent ink set to do a little ink drawing, doing a portrait of Freddy Star. He's one of my characters from uh, my comic. Except this one's a little uh, more detailed. I usually don't have this many wrinkles and stuff on him. But uh, it'll be important to show with the editing. But uh, if you're not using ink and you're using like a pencil sketch of something, you can do that as well. Um, the steps I'm going to show you today, uh, you can do both. And I'll actually bring up, there, that's a good, that's something I can do. Let me grab a sketch out of a sketchbook to kind of show you the same thing. I've got like 500 sketchbooks over here. You can't see him. But uh, the process when I scan them, you can use it with whatever you do. I haven't, I mean, you can do it with paintings and stuff. Um, I'll talk about some apps that you can use to edit like a colored picture. But again, the, what I'm gonna do today is like taking an image into Photoshop and then um, altering it there. Do my slicked back hair texture. Again, just be careful that you're not uh, getting your your hand all stuck in the ink. Can you see it still? Yeah. Okay. Super quick drawing today because so I just want to get something inked so that I can talk about photoshopping. Let's 
sweet. So he's got some slicked black looking hair. If you've watched my other videos, I've kind of talked about just do it and then leave it alone because the more you mess with it, the the more messed up you do. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay. Boom. So now he's got some some slicked black hair. And uh, this tool I'm using is not a Micron. Um, this is just like an ink cartridge pen, but it's got a brush tip. Super nice for uh, inking big areas. And it's got such a fine point that you can get it um, in all these small, small little spots. Okay, I'm gonna give him some stubble. This is called stippling. I'm gonna show you a close version of it. Right, right there, you see those little dots. Some bottom lip texture. Didn't really have a top lip. But that's fine. Okay. Um, put some more texture. I like putting like some stippling in the ears. Kind of on the cheekbones. Now this is more of just like skin texture, not necessarily five o'clock shadow. Put some under the eyes. Right, there's a pretty creepy, funky face. Um, let's do the the body now. There's some really sharp collar. And this is the one thing that I found was the hardest when I wanted to do uh, the time-lapse videos. As you can see, I'm drawing upside down now. I like to move the paper around, but when you do a time-lapse, you kind of want it to be stationary so that people can see over time how it progresses. I'll do some neck lines. There's his tie. And you first want to start off with just an outline of things. And then you can go in and add the texture and stuff. So I'm doing 
that now. And as you can see, I've smudged quite a bit of it. But again, that's part of uh, when I edit things, you'll take all that, the busy stuff out, right? So right, oh, hold on. It's like right here. Okay, so there's his body, right? Tall head. Is Richard watching? I'm gonna communicate with him about something as I'm doing this. Is R calling calling awesome ketchup? Is he on the mic? You can still see that perfect. Inking it. Okay, there's a little tie for him. I'll make his suit black as well. Let me respond to this text real quick. <sighs> All right. Ink. Let's give him a black suit. And this is the last part, and then I can scan it and we'll do some editing. Just gotta ink the suit now. Pausing, I'm also working on something else. Richard's texting me. Now when you're inking uh, black on black, you can see I'm leaving a little space in between the suits uh, so that if the whole thing is black, you still need to have that little highlight area so you can distinguish between one area and the other. Okay. Now, this spot right here, I want to have a line there, but I already inked over it, so I'll fix that when we scan it.
ici. Again, leaving that little space in there. Boom. Is my camera shaking? It's on such a little flimsy stand that I made. All right, there's our suit. There's our man, Freddy. Check my text real quick and then we'll get to it. Boom, boom, boom. Get Sorry, sorry. Okay. Sweet. Swana said they love it. Thank you. Sorry, I'm working on uh, acquiring some equipment for our space here in Chicago and elsewhere. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do that every once in a while. So let's let's scan it. So let's talk about um, what I need to do. So um, I have this black and white ink image. If you're gonna be working in, uh, on some other imagery, you can follow the same steps. It'll just look a little different because mine's just straight up black and white. Okay, so there's a couple apps that uh, you're gonna need to get. They're all free. Um, the first one is called Adobe Scan. That's the app right there. I'm gonna try to get it to focus. Please excuse my, my inked up fingers. It's that little blue, T. it's like a teal, it says Adobe Scan, okay? This is what I use to scan all of my images. Here you can see all of the scans from my other drawings. Oh, let's see. Right, they're all on there. So I'll kind of walk you through getting that. So I'll give you a minute if you want to get download this. I know a couple of people people are working with me. Go download in the App Store Adobe Scan. So if you've downloaded it, I'm gonna show you how to work with this one. So it has a feature in the bottom right. There's two options. There's a little photo gallery and it'll open up your the photos you've taken. And it has a camera app. If you click the camera button, it'll pull up a camera and it'll detect the frames on your picture and it'll take it for you, right? And then you can adjust. Well, let me turn, hold on, let me turn these lights out. This might help. Didn't, didn't help at all. All right, there we go. So you can adjust the crop, right? It auto, auto detects it. Um, so I'm gonna just go with it. I'm gonna click continue and it'll scan that. So now I click, click on the little image and you, you'll see the difference uh, on your phone, but it, there you go. It scanned it to a black and white, almost like I used a scanner. Now, a couple things. The resolution on these are about 25% um, of what you want it to be compared. Oh man, that's really out of focus now. Focus on my hand, there we go. Um, so if you use like a really fancy big scanner, you'll get a better quality, better resolution in your image. That'll be for if you wanna scale it up really large and print it. Um, this will work, and like I said, I have been using this app for like my digital work, for like posting on Instagram, or getting it to just print off like, you know, like nine by 12 at the largest. Um, so once you scan it, you can go in here 
and you can change the color of it from auto color, which is where it's black and white. You can change it to, now it's picking up the blue. And see, so you can see that. It's got the blue in there from the teeth and stuff. If you want that to go away, you can click grayscale and you'll still see a little bit of it. Focus on my hands. Focus camera, focus. There we go. Um, if you click grayscale, you'll still see a little bit of the of the grain, um, but you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. So I'm gonna go on the top right and I'm gonna click save PDF. Saving, okay. So now I have a PDF of this image. And again, if you wanted to do it without the auto detect camera, you just take a picture of it with your phone and then you would click this button, the bottom right, there's a little gallery and it'll pull up all of your images and you can click show all photos at the bottom and you'll see all of your photos from your gallery right so i just did the click the camera one and scanned it my brother also showed me um this is the notes app for iphone so it's the little let me show you this Oop, right there the little yellow top white one just says notes open this up and you can click let's see what he did he showed me this hold on another there we go okay so you click new note right at the bottom you click new note and then you can click um, the camera and you click scan documents and again this is a free app and again it's gonna auto detect the frame and then it scans it for you. And what that does is in the process of scanning it, it'll get rid of all of the in-between colors and kind of solidify those blacks that you did. This works very well with ink drawings. Again, if you're gonna do a sketch, it's gonna make your sketch a little darker if it's pencil because it's gonna kind of make it one, so like the blacks are gonna be solid blacks. Okay, but that's another way that you can scan an image with your phone. Okay, so one of two. If you've got the notes apps on an iPhone, I would say you can use that. And then from there you can uh, click done. Done. And then click save. And then you have this little document in your scans. You can click on it and then click the top right where it's that little project thing and you can text it to anyone. You can save it to your files, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Adobe scan because this is my preference, the Adobe scan, right? I'm going to go to the home screen. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff flipping around. Now I'm going to click share and I'm going to click share a copy, okay? And I'm going to click airdrop and then it's going to click the Mac. Now let me switch to desktop view. You can see at the top, I got an airdrop. I'll click accept. Close all this stuff so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. I'll leave the chat up. So it pops up in my downloads, the, the airdrop. Here it is. I'll put that on my desktop just to work with. Move my shot over here. I'll close this so you don't have to look at the crazy camera. Now I already have Photoshop open and as you can see I have some of my previous scans in here from my drawings. Um, So what I'll do is I'll take, oh, didn't want to do that, whatever I just did. Okay. I'll take the scan, which is a PDF document, and I'll drag it to Photoshop. Give that a second. Make sure I'm still good. I am still good. Sweet. So now this little screen will pop up. Okay. Now I'll click images because I want the image out of it. I'll click OK. All right. All right. So, are we following along? Are people watching? I think I'm live still. Yes, I am. Okay. That's not what I wanted to see. I wanted to see my OBS, make sure I'm still up. Yes. Ooh, sorry you got to see that. But I want to make sure I can still see that I'm live, okay? 
All right. Well, I'm going to have to go out of them. Here we go. So you've got your black and white image. Let's clean this up. So I'm going to do a couple things. First thing I want to do, as you can see, if I zoom in, that blue is there, right? And we don't want the blue. I'm going to change the size of my uh, Photoshop so that I can still see the chat in case people want to ask some questions. All right, here we go. Okay, so um, I've got my scan image, and as you can see, it's still blue. All that stuff is still picked up. So to get rid of that, I zoomed in at the bottom left right here, right? I zoomed into 100 when I do this. I'm going to go to Image, Mode, and I'm going to click Grayscale. Okay, it'll ask if it's going to discard their color information. You want to get rid of the color because you're switching to Grayscale. Now all that blue has turned into a light gray. We see that? Now for line work, and for black and white imagery, what we want to do, and again, I'm just checking in here to make sure all my stuff's going all right. For, to get rid of this so it's just the black and white colors, it's just the black line art, I'm gonna adjust some things. I'm gonna go to Image Adjustments. So at the top, Image, go down to Adjustments. I'm gonna click Curves, okay? Now, Curves will give you this little tiny chat thing right here. This, uh, this editor for your blacks and whites. So what you're looking for, find a good spot in your drawing where you can see a lot of your grays, but you can also see your whites and your blacks. Now, when I drag the white, I'm, wait, I'm looking to see that all the little gray parts go away, okay? So I'm looking on the teeth that kind of went away, the one that was over here went away. But now you can see that my black has some white in it. So you'll adjust the black to make your black darker. Right, and then you can go throughout it. This looks pretty good. Sometimes the the black and white sliders end up getting right next to each other. This will work for today. Okay, now what you can do, I'm gonna go on the left and select my brush tool. And I'm just gonna click the hardness 100, scale it down a bit, and then Oh, didn't want to do that. Hold on, hold on. So image adjustments, curves, I just undid it. Bring up the whites. Right, and then make the black stand out. Click OK, right? So now I have this, which is a paintbrush tool. And I'll go in and I'll clean up any little spots that are just not up to par. So I've got these little white spots. I'm going to paint right over it. And this is where I'll scroll around. Again, any of these little tiny spots that didn't change colors correctly. And I'm using a pretty small, um, over here I'll switch to white. I'm using a pretty small brush, but uh, I don't need a big one. I'll take my time. I'll scale it up a little bit. Right there. Okay, so what I'm doing again is I'm just kind of cleaning up the drawing. Like that. Now here's that spot where I wanted that white line. So I'm just gonna make my brush the thickness of that white. I'm just gonna redraw it, just like that. Thank you, Outlaw, for the sparks. Appreciate it. Now on the hair, this is where a lot of the details are. You gotta clean it up a bit. Again, I could leave it however I want it. I'm just going in and cleaning up the, the marks that I don't prefer. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Thank you again for the sparks. Okay, now here we are. We have a scanned black and white image, right? So what I can do now, now for, we'll just go into, um, uh, saving just the black and white image like this. 
I would go to image and I click mode. Oh wait, hold on. Before I do that, before I even do that, I forgot one last thing. You go to your adjustments and you click threshold. This is gonna smooth out all of your lines that are not super uh, graphic. I'm gonna click okay. And it softens your lines, right? Now it's very subtle, but it does help. So the first thing you do when you get your image, you go image mode, you click grayscale. Then edit it, you go to image adjustments, you go to curves, you adjust your black and whites. Then you use your paintbrush and clean it up and put in whatever you want in there. And then you go to image and uh, adjustments and threshold, and then you click it. And it'll automatic, it should automatically go to 128. You wanna leave it at 128, that's a good spot, right? Let me just check this real quick. I'm gonna put my face back up. Check that out. So now you can see me and you can see the stuff. So I'll bring this over here. Find stuff around so you can see everything. Move this to this side. This to this side. Now, there we go. Now you can see everything. Put this up here. Boom. Boom. Okay, now you can see everything. So, if I wanted to save this for the web, what I usually do is um, when it's all done, it's black and white, I go to image mode and then I click bitmap, right? 300 pixels per inch should be good, I'll click okay. Now I'll go file and I export it as a PNG when I'm posting on like my Instagram or Facebook. Um, you can change it, you can save it as a JPEG as well. Get the little pinwheel of death. Name it. I'll do Freddy. Freddy demo piece. Right. First thing you're gonna do is it's gonna want to save it as a Photoshop document. I'll save it as a Photoshop just on my desktop. If you don't save the Photoshop version, you won't be able to come back in and edit it like this again. So it is important to keep that as that. Now, if you want to save a different version to upload onto your website or to print, you click Save As, and then. You can go to PNG or TIFF. Um, I, I would say do a PNG. And again, just do file, export, and you can do a quick export as a PNG like this. Okay, and that's just a different file that you can use. It kind of works like a JPEG, but you can post it on your uh, whatever, okay? Now what I can talk about real quick for organization, we'll open up the my drawing. So just keeping your stuff organized. Um, I've got a couple different folders for the same the same artworks. I've got my scans, which are all my PDF scans from my phone app. I keep that in a file. And then I have my Photoshop documents. So I save them all as Photoshop documents so that at any point if I want to go back in and re-edit something, I can just open one of these. And then I save the um, final edits. So that's after I've cleaned it up, I've gone in and I've got, gotten rid of all the little the little marks that aren't right, and then um, I'll save it as a PNG so I can upload it. So these are all the little portraits that I've done. Um, let me pull Photoshop back up. So let's do some more stuff with it. There's some cool things you can do. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background to black. So to do that, um, I first need to, I want to make a little outline edge on this. Awesome catcher sent me some sparks. Thank you. I appreciate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, ooh, that's too close, is I'm going to make a little outline edge. And this is going to take a little bit of craft, craftiness, some steady hands. Uh, and what this is for is when I make the whole background black, uh, you'll still be able to see the edge of his body, right? Like when I was drawing, when I was inking black on black, um, you want to leave that little space right there so that people can see um, the different parts of your, your drawing. <laughs> I 
Richard said, sparks aren't popping up. Yeah, Richard, we, uh, this is the new, um, version of our streaming setup. Check it out. No sparks on it, but I see him in the chat. So again, I appreciate it. Okay. Ooh, there's a little spot I didn't clean up right. Good thing I, uh, I'm doing this. So I'm making my little outline here. Boom. Okay. Now go up to the top because the hair is black as well. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now it would be really easy if I had maybe um, an iPad to do this with so that I could use um, a pencil, like a, an iPad pen. What I'm currently using is just a mouse. That's why I'm doing it a little bit at a time. And if I mess up, I'll just undo it. So like if I mess up, I click edit, undo brush tool, and it gets rid of it. But I'm just doing it a little bit at a time, right? Because if I tried to do this all in one go and I messed up, I'd have to redo the whole thing. So I'll do it little sections. And again, this is so when I dye the, when I change the background color to black, you'll still see the edge of the hair and his suit. Oh, see, I didn't like, didn't like that one. Command Z, if we're using a Mac, is the undo. And boom. Okay, so I'll zoom out so you can see that. So it's just got a little outline. So now when I take my bucket, oh, yeah. So if you're gonna uh, do any color altering, it can't be in bitmap. So I'm gonna change it to grayscale. Boom, right? Undo, boom, there he is, Freddy Star, right? And I can even do, if I wanna do colors, you just gotta change the mode, I'll do RGB. Ooh, look at that. We'll do a little red. Don't like that. That's kinda cool. Uh, I like the other one better. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so this is just a little, can you see that? Oh, let me make sure. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, you can still see that. Okay, so I'm in the, um, let me make this a little bit smaller. Boom. Pro streamer. Oh my gosh. Please. There we go. <laughs> okay. So uh, this little color swatch thing, I'm just clicking random colors. You can look up colors on your desktop or on your, like, uh, browser and you can find other colors now let me talk about something else as far as um, editing goes let me see let's see how many people are on right now how many people am I talking to like three people whoa, 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 whoa. oh come on there we go oh quite a few people thank you mixer um, okay so something else you can do with images now this is again Three, it's three colors, it's red, black, and white. Um, what you can do is you can add texture to it. So what I have done is I've downloaded, uh, it's called Grit Texture, and I'm gonna pull up, there's a some pile of people on there, yeah. Hold on, I'm pulling out my phone so I can show you the uh, their Instagram. So that you can get this. They, they make texture packs for Photoshop and brushes and stuff. Um, let's see. All right, so um, this is True Grit Texture Supply. This is their Instagram. True Grit. Can you see that? It's not focusing. Please. I'm going to type it. True Grit Texture Supply. And I'm gonna use some of their textures that they have. So let me go back to this. Boom, look at that pro. Um, and what they do is they, they have brush tools and filters that you can add to your uh, online imagery to give it a little uh, little something something. So let's do, let's do that. I'm gonna make a 
What I did just there, I double clicked the background and I changed it to a layer so that I can copy it and move it around. Um, I'm going to make, let's see. I'm gonna make a new one. So I click this little button right here, new layer. I'll make this uh, background texture. And I'll make another one. I'll do uh, suit texture. And I'll make another one. I'll leave, yeah, 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 I'll do another one. Um, skin texture. Okay, so that way, when I edit things, I'll show you that in a moment what it does, why that's important to make different layers. Here's my chat. Okay, what did I wanna show next? All right, so I'll open up this little button right here is my brush settings. I'm gonna select my brushes. Now this, True Grit Texture Supply Sampler. This is free. If you wanna get some, some textures to use in Photoshop and you want some stuff that's free, use this. Go get it, get a sample sent to you, it's free. And they'll give you all these different textures. Let me show you some. You can change the brush size here. I'll do a, um, we'll do a white pattern so you can see it. Right, now if I zoom in on this, right, it's like little lines, isn't that cool? Edit. You can also do some, some of the dots, right, like the old school comics. And if you do it on one of these filters, that these layers, I can turn it on and off, like that. Um, let me erase this. Okay, go back to my brushes. Let's uh, let me show you some other ones. There's a really cool one. This looks like like a metal sheet or something. We have now this is something that I've been using. It's called Distress. And it just adds a little bit of paper texture. There's that version. There's also one that gives a little bit more. Right? Those are a little bit a little more dense. Let's see what this one is. This one's like spray paint almost, right? You could spray paint some. Here's like a lithograph texture. Now I got a text. That's just an email. Right? Ooh, look at that. Like sprinkles or something. So again, it's got a lot of different um. I just deleted that, all that stuff. Um, it's got a lot of different different types of texture if you wanna do some cool uh, stuff. So let's let's edit this and see what we can get it to look like. So now I'm just gonna kinda of play around with it. Um, if you were scanning an image that was not a an ink drawing and you're doing like a sketch or a pencil, these processes still work. You can add stuff to it. Let me show you real quick before I actually start working on that. Um, where is that? That is in drawings. So we'll do Photoshop. So I'll open up this contour drawing that I did of Johnny Cash. Contour is when you can't look at it. Where is it? Why didn't it open? Weird. Hold up. Please open up. There we go. So looking at this, this is a finished piece that I did, but um, I scanned it and these lines were made with um, just some pen marks and pencil marks. And then you can see that little tiny, that like fuzz almost. I wanted it to look like it had a paper texture. Um, but that's a finished version that I use texture on. Another example of that is this picture I did of Lemmy from Motorhead. Um, now this one's a little bit more subtle, right? It looks like a black and white drawing, but if you zoom in on the shirt, it's got some pretty intense speckling of gray. And then in the background, it's a little bit lighter, but it's really close to black so that from a distance, again, if you're posting this on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere digital, when you first look at it, it's very subtle. It just looks like black and white, but it's softer on the eyes. It's not It's not straight up black and white because when you zoom in on it, you can see the, uh, right here, the little tiny specks of color, or gray, okay? If you wanna look at those on your own, uh, go to my Instagram, Manglaze Black. It's on the spinning little uh, newsreel I got going on below me. All right, so let's edit this guy. Let's see, we, see what we can turn this into.
All right, anyone have any questions? Any questions? Look at that. Look at all those people on Mixer. Wow, we got like 10 people. What's up? All together. You just saw the numbers. 10 people all together. Okay, so um, let's... Let's see. Oh, let me zoom in. Zoom out. Who just who's on the Instagram right now? Oh, look at that. Boom. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's bring out some brushes. And I'm just gonna kind of see what I got to work with. I don't. I do not like that. Um. This. You can even use, this is like supposed to look like a pencil. All right, it's pretty cool. Again, if I had like a iPad to do that on, here's an ink brush, right? Those are supposed to look like ink. That's a dry ink. Shader pencil. Ooh, I'm just playing around now to see what this stuff can do. Again, this is true grit. Ooh, a squeegee. That's pretty funny. Let's see. Hold on. Watch this. Let's do. Let's do a whole squeegee. Right? And then you can change the opacity of that. Right? Pretty cool. Let's do, I'll copy this. Oh, okay. Um, what do I want to delete? So I'll, I'll turn that off for now. Oh, watch this, this is cool. So I want to select just um, the drawing, the person. So what I'll do is I'll use the magic wand to select the background and then click select and then click inverse, right? Oh wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Whoops, inverse, get rid of that. Bring this above this, turn this back on. Now it's just in the background. The little squeegee. See? I don't like that though. We'll see if we change colors if it looks better. Nope, didn't want to do that. Nope, didn't want to do that. Oh. Mm, not liking that either. That's kind of cool. I like that. A little, a little sun. We'll do another one of those. Let me get my brush back out. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't want to do that on the same layer. Hmm. Kind of like that. I could even change. Watch. Change it to grayscale, it'll just make it black and white. We'll do merge, discard, right? Pretty cool. And I'll undo that so I can look back at the colors. So let's do some more texture around the back of his head. I'll do his suit now. Okay. 
so we'll do um, some more texture. I'll do the, see what medium speckle looks like. And again, I want it to be subtle. Can you even see that? Why is that? Why is that not showing? Oh, goof. There we go. All right. Um, making a new layer. zoom out I can't see the whole thing so I'm adding a very subtle uh, texture to his suit let's see what it looks like right so you can see that very subtle and it's just in his suit his hair is still slick um, what let's see I do I'll adjust the canvas size. I'm gonna there we go. I need it to be a little bit more center. So we're gonna do a little work here. to draw oh wrong color okay see that The dropper tool, I can get that exact color. And it's down here which color I'm using. I'm going to drop, oh, not that. Put this on the background right there. Now he's a little bit more centered. And the texture kind of ends there, so I'm going to add a little bit more. So again, I'm going to use my dropper and grab that gray that I used. Grab my brush. That was my, oop. I think that was medium speckle. That's too light. Too light. There we go, that works. I'm using this to just add that extra black line behind it, right? So you can't even tell I did that. Boom, look at that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the dots. make it look like a comic. 
So I'm going to use a slightly darker red, select the background from layer 0, layer 3 will be this texture. Using the brush, I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole page. Yeah, Zachary, check that out. You see that? Photoshop Madman. Photoshop Madman. I just added a layer of texture. Let's zoom in and look at it. So now I've got that like little, what is the name of those dots? I don't even remember. But now I've got the little background like this. If I zoom in on the shirt, right? He's got that little suit texture down there. That's pretty cool. What else can I do to this thing? What could I, ooh, could I put some, some text in there? Dot matrix. I don't think that's what it's called. What are those people watching? Facebook left us. Were those uh, comic dots? Ben Bay dots. That's what I was looking for. Ben Bay dots. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to do to this picture. Zachary, what else should I do to this picture? You're watching. Side note, Zachary, you like my Tony shirt on I got on today? This Tony shirt part two, two days in a row. <sighs> Hold on, you want to see the original, Zachary, since you're here? Hold on. Boom, you see that switch? See that smooth switch? There it is. I We have a question from Kyle. Kyle, I would love to hear a question. I can answer it. I said, Zachary, do you like my Tony shirt? My second Tony shirt two days in a row. Switch to this one. Hey Kyle, that burn would have been better if you typed it correctly the first time. Kyle asked if my dad was out of rock and roll t-shirts. No, Kyle, I thought about it. I actually thought when I put this in, I was like, I wonder if Kyle's gonna talk smack because I'm not wearing a rock shirt today. Tony two shirts, yeah, it's me. All right, I don't know what else to do. This. Zachary, what else should I do to this thing? Should I put some stars behind it? Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna do some stars. Let's just look up uh, star PNG. Which star do I wanna use? These all look gross. Gross. Is there a star thing like So official, yeah it does. Give it some shadow. With what? With what? With the things? Could do color. We'll do, uh, we'll do the blue, a little shout out to the blue that I draw it in. That was a heinous dark blue and I was not expecting that. Mask the guy. See, that's what I was talking about. You missed when I was talking about that. Shadow. I know, I know how it works. I just did it. Hmm. Copy and paste and then move it as a shadow. I don't know what that means. Oh. I don't know what that means. What do you want to do? You want to... You mean to do this? You mean to make him have two? Is that what you wanted? You wanted two of the Freddies? I'm not doing that. No. I'm doing it on the wrong layer again. I don't like that. Zachary says yes. I don't know about that. 
Yeah, that blue's pretty good. It's like the... Uh, the blue that I draw it with. Hmm, not on the shirt. Pink in the gun. Yeah, it's going there. Do that color. See, question, Zachary. Is there a way that I can make the line art go in the back? That's the real question. Because it's going. See how it's going over my black lines? Ooh, hold on. Yeah, I answered my own question. Hold on. Uh, magic wand on this layer. This will be um, blue shadow. This will be pink shadow. Yeah. I think I figured it out already. Yellow shadow. I didn't spell that right. There we go. New layer behind lines, yep. Okay, so I'll do, I'll select the white first, blue. And then use, yup, yup. Yeah, see now it's popping up behind there. That's what I was looking for. You're already years ahead of the design community because you label your layers. Yeah, of course I label my layers. I'm not an animal. Uh. New segment for streaming, watching Garrett get frustrated with Photoshop. That's what we can do. Is that too much? It might be Where's my eraser. No, my eraser. Where is my eraser? There it is. Jesus, not that big. Love the new segment. I'm pretty good at it. All right, um, bigger. Let's change the opacity on these. This blue too. Oh, you know what I can do while you're on here? Check this out, hold on. Check this out. I showed this off when we started. Look at those, look at that, that ink. Check that out, in a car at night. Where is it at? There we go, boom. Comics coming together. You like that little Easter egg? Simon's Club, pretty cool. Back to the work. Back to the work. Uh, put a little, little shadow there, a little shadow there. Bring this down a little bit. Mr. Two says nice. Let's zoom out and see how his face looks. That's pretty ghoulish. Looks pretty cool. All right, we'll do pink shadow for the gums. Do like a purpley pink. So I'm gonna go to layer two, which is the base layer. <laughs> Excuse me, magic select that. Gray on the collar, yeah. Do the whole mouth. Whole mouth? It kind of looks like a mustache. Yeah, I won't. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Darker 
darker pink around the gums. You know what? I could even do a different brush. Hold on. We'll do... Nope. 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 We're gonna stick with the shader. That's intense. Don't like that. Yeah, well, I gotta see the thing. Listen. Listen here. I'll get as close to it as I wanna get. All right. Pink. Pretty good, pretty gross. I feel like his mouth needs to be lower, but it's too late. Uh, it's not too late. <sighs> I'll do yellow now. No, not quick select, magic, magic. No, here we go. Command, can I select more? Nope, can't select more. I do it one at a time. This is going to take forever. Touch your nose to the screen. No, I will not. I shall not. Not even that close. Let's take a poll. Am I that close? This guy's looking a little gross. Do I like the whole teeth, y'all? I don't know if I like the pink. I guess I need it, though. Hold on. Let me sneakily look and see how many people are watching us right now. So Kyle can't talk smack. Um, oh, we got loads of people on Kyle. Loads of people. Some brown spots in the teeth? Yeah, we'll try that. Some brown spots? Darker pink on the edges. Yeah. Why am I, there we go. It took me forever to find that. This is almost as good as the um, Call of Duty stream. Who wants to see another Call of Duty stream? Look at me powering through these teeth right now. Boom. Pro, not that tool. Messed up my system. Boom! All right, look at that. No, I just clicked print. No! No, I don't want to print it. Cancel. Here, printer connected. Okay. Put that over there. 
I don't know if pink was the move for those. I'm gonna try like a more red pink. Try that color. Pink shadow. Let's send Adam Driver's agent a signed print. Why do you, how do you have his contact? This is an Adam Driver. Why would we send him this? Why would we send... Hold on. Hold on, sir. One, how do you have it? Two... Uh, two... That looks terrible. I'm not sending Adam Driver this. We can, I'll draw Kylo Ren. Yeah, not this one. You want to send him the Toy Soldier print? I'm deleting the pink. I'm deleting it. Delete. You like them apples. Yeah, my print. The uh, this guy looking like Joker. The toy soldier one? Yeah, I'm down to send him one. Get the contact. I'll send it right now. I got. I have to send one out anyways. To Larry. Shout out to Larry for being a good supporter. Gotta send him a print. Those gums. They're so intense. That's why I don't use color. Now we're going to add some text in there. We're going to really throw everyone for a loop. Let's get it. That's live. Is that called pink shadow? That's like Stop, please. Photoshop. Please. Oh my god. I don't even know why it's doing that. I got too many layers. There we go. Nope, not that one. But yeah, Zachary, of course you like it. I made it. It's pretty good. Just kidding. Yeah, that's life over and over again. All right, now we're gonna change colors. I don't know if I like the yellow. Can I make all of these one? Um, 
maybe I'll do like oh lord, please. <sighs> I don't know how to reattach that. I will right, we'll deal with it. Like a red orange. Scooch him to the left, off center it. Hold on, I just pressed too many buttons. I didn't want to press that. Please stop Photoshop. Please stop being like this. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna scooch in the left. I can't do that. I'm gonna make the canvas bigger though. Your mom's loving this? Good. Good. You want him this way? If you. Can I get a confirmation? You want the main figure to the left? No. Because you can't see that. You'll just see Tat's life. Or do you want it more to the. You want it more left. Then you can't see that. So you just see life over and over again. Is that what we want? Ooh. Not that. Should it be dark or should it be yellow? I'll do a dark yellow. I feel like that one's just too. It's easier said than done, Zachary. Because the original drawing, the original drawing cut off here. So I redrew it here. What if it fades? I don't know what that means. song and get the, the music flagged in a moment. No! What is that? I want to move. Why is it doing that? Top one yellow, color fades to dark red. Yes, I like that. Oh my lord. There it is. Okay. Please, continue to be like this. Oh. Okay, do we want them to be outlined like this? That's too much. That's too much. All right, yeah. I don't know. How do you lock layers? See, now I, this has turned into me learning things on Photoshop as well. One outlined. One could pop.
Okay, you want me to do what? Right click it and lock it. No, I cannot right click it and lock it. It's fine. It's all good. Do we want the blue in there? Oh, I guess I did the background with that too. Oh, select all text layers and merge them. But then I can't text, I can't adjust them anymore. I know what it's gonna do. I linked them. Now I have this. Yeah, that worked. Um, can I still edit them? Oh, I can. All right. I don't know what to do with this thing now. Do I want the blue and stuff in there? I guess. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Hold on. It's very McDonald's. I'm not opposed to that though. But it, but it is very McDonald's. Yeah. Does it need to be bigger? Like does that size look I know I got to do the texture again. Does it need to be bigger like um like this or should it be really close and cropped like it was? I think this looks better. Let me put a McDonald's logo on his tie. You liked it better before. All right, we'll do that. Like this? Yeah, okay. Um, should I leave the yellow in the background or should I, um, let me change the opacity. Can I do that to all of them? Ooh, hold up. Which one should stand out? The one by his eyes or the one at the top? Shivity five. Shivity five. Yes. Sixty. What if you red dot over the, I already have red dots over the yellow. Submit back a little. I don't know what that, that, that second one meant. That's pretty cool. Like what I'm like these filters. I guess the middle one would be the brightest. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Hold on. I'm I'm going off script. Okay, if this is Is that the middle one? There is no middle one. That's kind of the middle one. That's the middle one. This one, yeah, I'm gonna do it like the middle one is gonna be no opacity. Then the next one's 75. Or maybe I'll do 70. You know? Which one is that? No. that. Yeah, 
that one's right. This one should be 50. I'm not gonna look at what you're typing because I need to, this is hard work. This one is 60, right? Where's the top one? Ooh, just received 100 messages in the chat. That's what's up. This one should be 50. That's pretty cool. Let me, I'm gonna make it. Okay, now they're actually in order. I'm gonna change the opacity a little bit more on these. I think I'm gonna do 40. Is that too much? No, I like that. Then 50. 40. And then 50. Maybe offset the one that pops a little. I mean, I could do the, um, I could do the outline around it. Let's see how that looks. Because so I could do like. No! Hold on. There we go. We're good. We're good. Here we go again with this irritating stuff. It's this one. No. Here we go. I'm waiting for the the comment. Let me switch over. Let me see. Oh, not that. We're still here. Look at Zachary. Find me on Instagram. Sir. Just kidding. Go follow Zachary. He, he posts really cool stuff. Okay. Outlaw says that looks amazing. Thank you. Isn't that cool? Um, GLA on Instagram? Yeah. Nah, it's all good. Look at these Freddy Flintstones. Let's get a let's get a drop view. Uh, so my mom calls my fingers. She says they're Freddie Flintstone fingers. Okay, does is that line good? Do we like that? I'm actually really happy with this piece, and like, I didn't, I didn't expect to make something this cool today. I did. If you you weren't here, Zachary, but I kind of whipped this together. But that's pretty cool. I actually might use this as the comic book cover. It's pretty cool. Ooh, not that. Do we want the blue on there? Where is the yellow shadow? Hey, Zachary, you didn't answer about the outline. I'm gonna put that on. Can we see what it looked like if we switched the outline one and the below it? What do you mean? Like just moving the one that's outlined to the one below it? I just outline that one? And I gotta change all the opacities again? I dig the outline too. So you wanna see, you wanna see what it looks like on the one below it. All right. Nope, not that. That is not what he wanted. Yes. Hmm. Do I have another one selected? No, I don't. Oh, 
Hold on. Let me. I forgot I was trying to get these, these, this equipment for us. Let me send this text real quick. Okay. This one I need to move. Why does this thing hate me? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, seriously? Gosh. Oh my god. No, no, I don't want to risk getting that thing off center. Cut, copy, add to new layer. Could have it offset a little bit. How about that. Should the bottom one be the, the focus? I mean, right now it's pretty even. I've got the three on top, three on bottom. So if I do. Yeah, with the offset, yeah. I think it's gonna... I like this one though. Even is the opposite of pleasing. That's false. I got, all right. All right. I don't even know where that. Hold on. I just got like sensory overloaded responding to this text. What was I doing? Okay. Okay, so this. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right, well, let me change the opacity of these because I want. So we want this one to be the 100 now. This one to be 70. This one to be 60. This one to be 50. That one to be 40, okay. Oh, I think I dropped it more. We'll just do 60, 50. 40, 30. And then at the bottom, 60, 50. Right? That? And then we'll do the offset lettering. Okay. 
please? Yeah, now I just gotta get this lettering right. Red on the left or right? That one? Should I make his face like gray? You put a filter over it. Oh boy, this one's like. Select inverse new layer gray filter top gray bucket opacity ten opacity fifteen. yellow filter. Maybe blue. Oh no. There we go. Or no filter. do some texture over it. Let's see. Um, we'll do the medium. Just over overloaded it. Okay. Does a little gray filter on the white. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, I need to erase. Oh, I never put the pink filter back on. Oh, I just took that off. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it.
I'm just looking to see all the little stuff in there. People still on? Oh, there's quite a few people on Mixer, right on? Okay. So I'm just um, looking in and making sure I don't have any little hiccups of areas that don't make sense. Um, I like the offset. I like the filters. Oh my gosh, can I zoom out? That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna see, I might add some more blue, so I'm gonna zoom in and grab that blue again that I was working with, and then go to the, Debbie said, looks great. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, thank you. Brush, blue. going in and cleaning stuff up now. Um, like Zachary had a question, um, how long did it take you to get where you are with Photoshop, like for today's demo or in general, like my ability to work with Photoshop, which question Zachary, I can answer both for the, for this two hours. Um, but I started, I actually took, um, quite a few years to get to where I'm at, um, I took a class in high school, actually, for Photoshopping and Illustrator work. Um, so I kind of learned the basics of, like, Photoshopping people's faces onto things. So I used to make, like, fake movie posters with my friends' faces from Facebook images. Um, and then I took maybe one class in college on Photoshop and then, like, an official class. But then I kind of just um, figured stuff out as I wanted. Actually, honestly... My skills in Photoshop have, have gone through the roof because of quarantine, um, being stuck in the house. I've been not able to like make the work that I normally make with ceramics. So I've been able to do a lot more drawings and then I want to edit them and be able to print them. So uh, I've been learning a lot of cool things on like really specific things you can do in Photoshop. And it's really simple to just, you know, you can literally just Google, how do I do this in Photoshop? And you'll find like a two minute video on YouTube of how to do it. Um, so as far as like skill level, it's been years of just like 
playing around, doing things, trying stuff out to get familiar with it and comfortable with it. And then if you ever need anything um, specific, you can just Google it and it's very easy step-by-step stuff. Zachary had a follow-up. Is it pretty easy to pick up as you go? Yeah, very easy. I mean, I am, um, as you can tell, very not tech savvy with Photoshop, but I know enough to get what I need done. So um, the process that I showed you to get this image in um, in Photoshop allowed me to, um, I mean, it allows me to get my drawings from paper to ink to printing so I can print them to sell them as prints or comics. Um, and then all this other stuff I've kind of just picked up along the way. Like I said, this texture stuff that I'm doing, I don't know how to apply it correctly. There's, I guess there's no really, um, no way to do it correctly. You just kind of do it and see what fits and what you like the most. Um, and then, like I said, anything else that you want to add, I've just kind of picked it up as I've, as I've gone along. Um, and like I said, yeah, Zachary asked, can a couple skills go a long way? Yeah. If you know how to like cut things and, um, erase things, excuse me, you can, you can do quite a, quite a bit with Photoshop. If you just know how to copy and paste. I'm going to try to erase some of this. Why isn't it letting me erase? Um, yeah, Zachary, you can do, if you have a specific problem with Photoshop, just go on YouTube and type in that problem and you'll find it. Also, like, watch this. So like if I wanted to, um, right, so I selected uh, this whole outline. Let's say I don't want to select this, but I want the background. If I go to help up here and type in uh, inverse, on. I did this before, there we go. So I started to type invert, um, it'll pull up exactly where to go. So it automatically does it for me. So I would just go adjustments, and then invert if I didn't know where it was. So Photoshop itself, you can just type things in this help bar and it'll tell you um, where to go to find things. And yes, Photoshop comes in Adobe Suite with Creative Cloud and I can't confirm it because I don't know, but I'm assuming you already did that it's cheaper than Netflix. So you can get um, access to this and I have access to Photoshop because I'm a teacher, um, I get a discount. So they, they offer quite a bit of discounts for, for people. Do we want the blue in there? Yeah, we want the blue in there. I want to try to erase some of that yellow stuff. Shift control I, I don't know what that was for. Nine, $9.99 a month. Yep. To steal. All right, I erased some of the yellow, so it's not super strong anymore, but it's still there. I like that a lot better. Um, I think I want to do. I think I want to change the opacity of the blue. Ooh, that's gonna change my background because I'm a dingus. And I did that in the same thing. All right, well, I'll just leave it. Save it. Does that look good? Can I get some validation? Move this over a little bit. Um, good choice erasing some of the yellow. Yeah, it was too much. I might even erase some of the blue too. Um, what was I going to do? I want to move this over more. That's too much now. Nope. Nope, not moving that. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to try to erase some of the blue, too. I didn't want all the blue gone. That's a good thing about Photoshop. You can just keep doing stuff to it until you find what you want. I'm going to try a different texture on it, I think. Maybe it just won't have any around the mouth. No, it needs some there. this one that's that's the shader I don't want that I want the spread out one no then you can't see it Just going back in and being very specific with where I want uh, the blue. kind of went in there crazily with the blue. Now I'm just being a little bit more specific with where I want things to pop up. Um, how do I get the cool halftone brush? The stuff I'm using. Um, I already talked about it, but I'll mention it again. You can get a free sample pack, which this is in it, from True Grit Texture Supply. Um, I think I put that in the comments. But... Um, they have a bunch of cool textures that you get, and this is, again, from their free sample pack that you can get a, get emailed to you. And then you have this really cool set of textured stuff to add on your whatever Photoshop drawings you, you plan to do. Again, it's free. Uh, if you want, obviously, if you want to do more crazy stuff um, and you want their other cool packs that they have, you gotta buy them. But again, all this stuff that I'm using today is from their free supplies, their free downloads. So go check it out True Grit Texture Supply. Halftone gray and the hair highlights. Oh, this stuff? 
Is this what you're talking about, Zachary? This, like, subtle gray in there? How did I physically do it in Photoshop? Um, I used the... Where is it? Which one did I use? The Distress Natural Medium. I did that on all of the white so that it wouldn't just be stark white at you. The whole face has it a little bit. Um, and again, that's also part of the True Grid Texture Pack. So if you're, again, if you're interested in, in playing around with any of this stuff, I think you just gotta like email them and they'll send you one. They'll send you a little down on the safe. Again, always save, make sure you don't delete stuff. I think that looks good. Can't see it. Please go away. That looks pretty, that looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna do something with the mouth. I think it needs pink in there or something, but. Zachary said, yeah, what do you think? What do I think about what? I think it's almost done. I, I wanna to try to do something in the teeth. For color, but um, I just didn't like that one. Maybe I'll try red. Maybe like a like a deep bright red, and then I can do um, not that, and then I'll just change the opacity of it. I just didn't like the pink; it looked too clownish. That looks gross. That looks gross. That looks gross. That's better. What do we think on that pink? That look good? It's subtle. That's what I wanted. I wanted to match the subtle, subtleness. I feel like the blue is too bright now. Cause everything else is kind of faded. And that blue is, just, blue is just very stark. What do we think? Zachary's still there. I'm basically making a custom piece for Zachary. What are our thoughts? Is the blue too bright or is it good? Should I change the opacity? If I change the opacity, I'm going to, hold on. Um, what do you think was in regards to the gray in the hair? Oh, you want me to add? I'm just trying to decipher all of these questions. You want me to add half tones to the hair? Can we solve gums look good? Yeah, gums look good. Uh, let me do this real quick. Um, Change the opacity of the blue. It's a little bit more subtle. I think that works better. It doesn't stand out as much. It looks better as like shadow, right? What are your thoughts? I think that's good. Half tone in the hair, like in this white spot or in the, or in the black. 
Like, you want me to put specs in the black part? The gray in the hair was a suggestion, yes. But, like, do you, like, the gray in the white or the gray in the black? Does the blue look better? Can I get you to type, yes, the blue looks good? I think that looks good. I've answered my own question. Um, let's try the gray in the hair. You just want it to look like you. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. All right. I like the blue now. Yeah, me too. Is this all attached? Yeah, it is. Whatever. Oh. Um, I'll do another one. New layer. Hair. Hair. Okay. What texture? Should I try the pencils? Look at that, that's crazy. All right, we'll do gray. Oh, you, hold on, half tone. We'll try the really spaced out one. I was thinking gray and the white. No. I like the white, because I like the black solid black. So let's try the let's try the white, because I didn't like it on the black. Ooh! Yes. Yeah. That's it. That's the money right there. What are your thoughts? As you can tell, I've already decided. That's cool. See, and it's all about just making layers, playing around with the with the thing, and just seeing what you uh, what you come up with. That looks cool. It's subtle, and again, those those half tones are designed so that from a distance it just looks like there's some color on there, and then when you get closer, you can see the dots. You know, old school comic books. I think that's finito. Do I want to make his eyes any color? No, we're leaving white. Excuse me. So let's let's do a little summary before we sign off. All right, back on the screen. Boom, people on Mixer. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So uh, so I'm showing you my desktop because so we took a let's do a little review in case you came in at the end. Uh, did a ink drawing real quick, um, a pencil, non-photo blue pencil sketch, inked it. You can see my hands were filthy, so I got smudges all over it. Uh, I showed you how to scan this with your phone. Again, review with the phone apps. I used the Adobe Scan app. Okay, It's free. You can get it. You can download it. It's unlimited scans. You can see all the scans I have of different images. You can also use your notes in your phone. And again, you just make a new note and then you click the photo button, you click scan documents and you can scan any images you have. And it could be sketches or like I said, this is ink work. Um, it's really nice. You can use it if you're using pens or markers or something. Um, oh, one other thing. If you have stuff that you don't wanna have that scanned texture, get this thing, it's called Snapseed by Google. It looks like that. It's like a little leaf. I don't know if you can see that. Like that little leaf. This is a great free photo editing uh, thing. Hold on. Open from device. We'll open up. Open up. Uh, open up a clown. So you open up an image, right? And then you go to your tools and you can do pretty much everything in Photoshop on a, on a much um, not professional, not as clean process. But if you want to just kind of try out the tools, you can do a bunch of stuff in here. Again, just playing around. Um, I'm scrolling. Let's see. There you go. There's all these different things you can change and edit and add to your images. That's a very quick editing app that you can use um, for just pictures of work that's not ink that you don't want to, you don't want to take that ink drawing and turn it into something else. Um, and again, switching to this little camera, 
Um, put that there. Once you get the, the ink drawing in here, you want to go to image mode and then you click grayscale, right? And then you go image adjustments. You adjust your curves, right? That gets rid of your white and your black. And then you want to, am I blocking it with my face? I'm probably blocking it with my face. Do I block it? Yeah, I'm blocking it. So you go to image and then there's a little thing that says adjustments and you open up curves. That'll do the blacks and whites and then you can change. I mean, you can edit all sorts of photos with your vibrancy, all this other stuff. And I could do another stream about editing a photo with color. Um, and then you wanna change it to, you wanna adjust your threshold so it's 128. That makes your, your line art, if it's ink or line art, it makes it super smooth and clean. Um, I eventually changed my mode back to RGB so that I can add some colors to it, which we have our finished product here now. Um, I'm really happy with this piece. Didn't expect to make something uh, this cool for a little demo, but like I said, it, it, stuff like this happens uh, when you're just kind of playing around and seeing what you can do. I see a little thing down here that's not correct, so I want to fix that. I don't know how that happened. Um, let's see, where are my layers? Because that little part, what did, I, what did I do with my layers? Wow. See, again, I'm just typing. Hmm. I don't know what I did to him. Hold on, make sure my chat is up. People are seeing. Yeah, Zachary's happy with it. Put my chat back over there. Um. But uh, yeah, now I can take this image and I'll save it. So I have that Photoshop original, and then I'm gonna export it as a PNG. Zachary does the JPEGs, but I like PNGs. These are, I don't know why, they're just fun. So I'll save that demo piece and I'll do Freddy, that's life, edit. Edit. Save that to the desktop and then I can post that on wherever I want to post it. Zachary, my layers disappeared. You know how to get those back? Um, I want to fix that little bottom part. If I close it and reopen it. That didn't fix it. Yeah, that's a super cool trick. You just type what you're doing and it'll, if you type, you know, if you find the right word, it's all about the verb, the word that you use. Um, it should be able to find what you're looking for. Zachary, how do I, my little, my box went away. Why did my box go away? Where are my layers? That's, no. oh, I see it, layers, there we go. Okay, so I wanna fix this little spot. I don't know, it's this one. Um, if you click D on your keypad, it'll change it back to black. That's what I wanna do, edit, undo. Um, which one is this on? It's this one. Hmm. How is that going over that? Oh, it's part of this one. Hold it. Cuz 
because I have two, one for the background and one not. Uh, let me finish this up. Do I want to bucket it? That worked. Okay. Make sure I didn't mess anything up by painting that. Okay, so save it. Um, I'm going to trash that other version. Boom, boom, here we go. File, save as, not JPEG, no, I'm gonna export it. I'm gonna export it. I was taught to export when you're going online with it and for printing. I don't know. Uh, that's life. Okay, desktop save. Now we got it, it's all done. Boom. So that's it, that's how you take an ink drawing and edit it and turn it into a cool printable version. So what I can do with this, um, yeah, I have another dude layer higher up, right? Cause I have that, um, I don't know why I did that. I had a little piece down here that the lettering was going over the black and it was just because I had, I had to redraw that arm. You can see it down there. I only drew part of it. So I use this to cover over it. Um, so now I can take this and with that file that I have, again, it's not a super high quality resolution, resolution image because I scanned it with my phone, but it is big enough that I can do um, some prints with it. I can, I can actually show you, uh, hold on. Let me grab something. I did uh, some clown drawings, and originally the ink was maybe, uh, let me switch this. The ink drawings were maybe like this big. Um, and then I was able to print these really nice, uh, high quality images. If you wanna see these photos, uh, these have a, a bunch of cool textures on them. These were the first two pieces I did with the, the grit texture supply stuff. I made some clown drawings. Um, so if you want to see that, check it out on my Instagram. Um, I'll probably post, I'm, I'm trying to like plan out my posts, uh, but I'm going to, I'll post this, uh, that's life Freddy star image on my gram soon. So again, if you want to see the up close and personal picture, you can get it, see, zoom in and see all these little details. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm just going to zoom in again. Everything looks pretty good. Right, and that's that's it. That's it, that's all for me. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on for the rest of the week. What is today, Friday? So the rest of the week is over, isn't that crazy? Um, I might do some streams this weekend. Maybe Zachary uh, will wanna do a collab stream. We can just kinda jam and make art and stuff. We'll see. Oh, hold on. I said I was gonna flag, uh, I wanted to flag the audio. Can you hear that music? Wanted to see if I could get flagged on Facebook. There it is. We're done, that's life. Elbow bump, elbow bump. <laughs> Can't wait to get all the emails about uh, your music is being claimed. Sorry. There we go. All right, I'm gonna pause this before I lose the rights to our entire audio on the video. But that's life. Here's the picture. I'm all done. Uh, I will be streaming next week for sure. I know we've got a, a bunch of other stuff on there. So if you want to see um, what's going on for our streaming, we're going to have the schedule updated on the website this weekend. So check it out Saturday or Sunday. Um, but we'll have more art making, more health, more music. Um, so if you know anyone that would, that would benefit from seeing this stuff, please send it their way. Right, And if you have any suggestions on what you want to see, now that you know we have access to some computer stuff, we're getting a little fancier with our streaming. Um, if there's any mediums that you want to see on your, uh, your 
on, on this program, just let us know. All right? That's it for me. I am, I am out of here. Time to go take a break and then make more art. All right? Adios. Till next time. We are a nonprofit that is helping combat disabled veterans heal through the arts and music. Our art programs in Chicago and California help combat disabled veterans tell their story through art. We enroll them into the best art institutes in the country. We pay for their tuition, their housing, their food all three weeks so that they can finally tell their story through art. We also bring combat disabled veterans to Nashville, to places and rooms like this here at the Grand Old Opry to tell their story for the first time with pro songwriters all about the things that they went through that they've never been able to talk about before. These programs have been extremely successful in helping veterans combat their PTSD. Right now, Creative Ed's has more veterans applying for our programs than we do funding. So if you can go to creativeets.org and donate, we would appreciate it.